Hello, this is Philips from Plotsdarms Design Company with another quick, quick tip how to make your project uh, user-friendly. Uh, normally, in your, um, in your project, there are several steps user needs to take to, in order to customize this project and be able to render it. For example, in this, my, in, in this project, which is my uh, video podca podcast opener, <clears throat> user needs to uh, replace his logo. Uh, need to edit his slogan or remove it and needs to add the audio and then he can go ahead and render it out and I've ordered these in logical order by uh, putting the logo composition at the very top and then slogan then audio and then render cops uh, lower below and then uh, leaving the other comps which consists of all the technical parts in them uh, down at the bottom. Normally these are sorted by name or by you can sort them most likely by comments and other things but if you just have your uh, composition named whatever your uh, composition will be sorted randomly. So what you can do you can add either some symbols uh, before it which will uh, grant the top top part of it but this way, if you have your like several comps and you are the same symbol uh, in front of them, uh, they will still be arranged, uh, they will still be put on top, but then they will be arranged based on, uh, on their titles. For example, if I start with this uh, with letter A, it will of course be on top of this. So a good thing to do is uh, to put numbers in front of it and instead of just numbering one two three four it's a good thing to do if you put a zero in front of it if you have only three uh, compositions like I do there is no much difference if you add a zero or not but if you have um, more than ten then what happens is uh, your eleventh comp will not be put uh, below the third comp but will be put straight after your first comp and this makes your numbering uh, odd because instead of having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 you will have 1, 11, 2, 20, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and then things like that and especially if you have uh, like 11, 12 and 13 you will have uh, your first comp and then 11th, 12th, 13th and then your second comp, third comp, fourth comp. So it's a good thing to do to add a zero before it so you can have a control of how your um, how your compositions are arranged. And also a good thing to do is uh, uh, color code them. Uh, for example I choose a green color for those that need to be changed. It's like from the traffic light, you know, the green color means you can go ahead and then safely go open those up and change those. And um, I have yellow, I, I use yellow color for the uh, final renders and just in order to be different from the green ones. And I use uh, this uh, none, which is just gray. Uh, for the other stuff, especially for the uh, for the uh, all the technical comps, you see there is one green inside of these other comps. And if you would buy this project, you would uh, see in the tutorial which says that in this comp you can replace um, this TV noise with your uh, video. So this is green as well, because user can can go ahead and and replace uh, replace things in this composition. Also, a good thing to do, uh, of course, all video archive requires all projects to come with included help file. So even uh, unexperienced users would know how to customize your project. But uh, another thing how you can help your uh, buyer and make your project user friendly is uh, to add uh, markers. I guess they're called markers inside your project. For example. In the logo here, you can, or in slogan here, 
okay there are no animation but uh, for example there would be a position animation which uh, brings in my um, brings in uh, the the slogan oh, like this and of course user can't edit the text uh, if the playhead is somewhere here because the text is invisible so what I would do I would go to this place and uh, make sure the layer is selected go to composition uh, layer no sorry layer add marker and then double click on the marker and add comment and comment could be uh, edit your slogan here okay and this appears on your layer which is like on-screen instructions for your user and what I've done here I have also uh, made the transparent logo uh, to to act as a guide in this um, in the slogan composition because if this logo would be uh, if you can't see your logo it would be hard to position your uh, slogan so one more thing which is uh, good to, to to know and to remember is to use uh, guide layers you can uh, you can turn every layer layer into a guide layer by just simply uh, marking this uh, checkbox guide layer and what this does uh, this makes sure your uh, layer is visible in this comp but once this comp is brought into another comp this uh, will not be visible there for example uh, if I uh, if I then uncheck this guide layer and brought this your slogan here into a new comp you will see that I have uh, my, my slogan and my logo visible but what if I want to add some other effects to my uh, to my logo then and and use this only as a guide then I would go ahead right click check uh, guide layer and now this is visible here but not visible in the final comp where, where the slogan uh, composition is brought in so this way you can either uh, make a guides or even you can uh, make an on-screen instructions like um, edit this text and center it below your logo oh, it's a weird color let's change it to black <clears throat> or even you can add some really odd blue color or something so user really uh, knows this is a guide and if you would just leave it like this uh, user would have this in the final comp and would render it out and this would make your project look really ugly but what you can do you can easily uh, right click on this layer and check guide layer and now this is visible here but not visible in the final render so that's an other good thing to do and uh, if you want to keep your your uh, comps clean and don't confuse your buyer just lock those down and also switch this shy switch and then switch uh, uh, this uh, master shy switch which will basically hide those layers so user once user comes in he sees the on-screen instruction sees the guide logo but he can only basically change the um, the slogan and the line if he needs and that's a good way how to guide your your user and basically are the on-screen instructions which I think might e might even work better than than uh, screencasts and, and video tutorials because then uh, once user is actually going and working with your project he still can see those instructions right in the front and that could help a lot to make your file user friendly